Let's have a look at this big coil of dual core 16 gauge wire. We're going to get this noisy bag out of here first. It does say 16 for the gauge. It's not labeled on the package, but it's 10 meters or approximately not quite 33 feet is how that works out. Uh, PVC jacket with two cores running within, if that comes into focus, a uh, red and a black. Looks like the PVC jacket is quite thick and substantial. It has good, good flexibility to it. Um, it seems tough that way, but a nice thick, thick layer of it protecting those inner conductors and again those are 16 gauge it is fully tinned um, oxygen free copper so pretty high quality wire there's a label on here on it that uh, just says the typical 16 gauge 300 volt uh, 80 degrees celsius etc etc this looks like uh, an excellent candidate for automotive applications. I'll just take a look at a little sample here. Let's kind of see if we can get a better look inside of that. Something like that. Major damage to it. I'm going to try to get the PVC jacket off of this carefully. Can. Well, this isn't the proper, correct way to do this, but just happen to have this handy here. So, took away a piece of the PVC jacket, pull out those two conductors in there, pick those back up in a second. So, the jacket is thick, tough, but flexible. Looks like this would be really good for a lot of applications requiring some durability. A couple of stubs of the wire here. They're, they're you know, stiff. It's, it's oxygen-free copper. And kind of a medium-stranded type of thing in there, but it looks good looks good for my liking. wonder if I can get a piece of that jacket off as well. Yeah, it's a little trickier to do looking through a camera lens. Should have just stripped a little bit of it. But uh, get in there. A little bit more of a look at that. Yep, fully tinned. I don't have any way to prove that it's oxygen free, but I believe them. This uh, saw is just looking very good, very high quality so far. So I think there are many automotive, robotics type of projects and even just running regular 12 volts to anything you might need to run 12 volts to if it doesn't have a ton of current or isn't an extremely long run using sections of this for LED cabinet lighting or who knows what pretty pretty choice quality looking stuff I would say maybe some of the nicer wire that I've uh, ever had my hands on here on the workbench so this is a great roll I would say this this looks like great stuff good to have you know always running positive and negative power to something, so good stuff to have around. Looks very nice.